I'm at BSC Expo and I'm joined by three very fine gentlemen representing three very different companies. Uh, I've got Dan from Holden who's uh, the distributor for Panasonic GH5. Yep. I've got Riz here from Mr Helix um, who, as the name implies, uh, sells Letters Helix uh, brushless gimbals in the UK. And I've got Robin from Tiffin who make, sell, make and sell st Steadicam. Um, I've brought you here because we've managed to assemble at the show for the very first time this combination, um, which is, let's take from the top, GH5, Speed Booster, Zeiss, Milvus lens, um, with a, a letter, what is a letter SWAT? Junior Helix. Sing, uh, single, single axis. Single axis, yeah, single axis Junior Helix. And then, uh, Robin, what, what's, what have you got here? Uh, that's Steadicam Aero 30. And the significant thing about all of this, I think, is that the price point um, when you put it all together is reasonably affordable if you're serious about video production. Riz, in terms of what you can, or Riz and Robin, what, what can we get on top of here? You know, what, what have we got now and what, what physically could we get on top of here? Well, the Steadicam doesn't care what's on top and it'll take about eight kilos. So it's very happy with, this is quite a light setup. Uh, typically we uh, find they get flown with FS7s, that sort of camera. It'll take a shovel mounted, light-ish camera so yeah it's, a, it's yeah. a very versatile rig but what, so what we're doing here Riz, is, is re replacing sort of the bulk of an fs7 or a c300 with inst in opting instead to go for a lighter camera but putting the gimbal you know potentially putting uh, wireless motors and things you could put wireless motors and you could put a teradec or paralynx or whichever transmitter you want on there um, so what does a single axis gimbal do on, on this, this Steadicam like this? Um, you know, mastering Steadicam could take uh, quite a lot of time and so it's, the single axis allows operators who perhaps haven't had a lot of experience um, just keep horizon. You could go into low mode, um, but it just keeps horizon and that's a tricky thing to keep. Um, but of course you'll still need to practice with it, you still probably need to take a course or whatnot, but in terms of... Um, just getting into this system and start operating with it will just make your life easier. Robin, I mean, who would you see something like this, you know, being good for? I, I would have said that wedding market, something like that, definitely. Um, you know, there are options on, on it, but uh, yeah, it's the first time we've done it, so. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I think giving people at the lower price point the option for a professional steady cam. You know, you've had cheap steady cams, cheaper steady cams before, but this is kind of. Pretty impressive Lero for the money. Rig. I mean, it's, it's certainly great value for money. You know, what, whatever you have on the top, it's going to be always. And there's also the 15 version, which doesn't have quite the same payload, about four and a half kilos. So, uh, and it's got a little shorter reach on the arm. So, uh, it's a, another option that's considerably cheaper. So, yeah. And then, in terms of, I mean, you, you don't sell a. a, a a revolution, the, the sort of revolving head, but I mean, this is, I can say, you know, it is way cheaper than anything else I've seen, but obviously the limitation is it can only take small cameras. Up till now, small cameras perhaps weren't quite up there. Speed, yeah. You know, what are the advantages of this in this sort of configuration, Dan? Well, of course, with the GH5, you've got 4K, 5060p, you've got 4K, 422, so 8 and 10 bits, so. Full size it, HDMI going out here, so. Yeah, full size HDMI, it's as, I mean, I think a lot of people are starting to get familiar with the spec, but basically the attention to detail on the video functions with the GH5 is like never before. So it's a more serious sort of camera for this kind of production, I think. Uh, and I also should mention it's got um, 180 frames in HD, full HD slow motion. So um, I know that Steadicam operators quite often combine slow-mo with Steadicam work. So another kind of good thing to use it for. Great. I've had, it, I've had it on for a while, so it's quite comfortable. You know, it's really light. It's like nothing. Well, that's the. I mean, that's the other big thing. I mean, why? You know, especially wedding shooters, event shooters. You know, people who are going to be in the in 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 the rig it's a very for. Nice setup. It's a very nice setup. Yeah, you could keep this on for ages. It's pretty. Yeah, all day you could run in this. And actually, for clients, it looks kind of impressive as well. So <laughs> yeah. you, know, you can't. You can't. You can't. You I mean, with technology like this, um, you know, previously it just wasn't possible. So now it is. You could own it. Okay, gentlemen, thank you very much.